Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We, we are at Agritechnica 2019, brought to you by Bravant. And joining us right now is Hendrik Schneider. He is with Geringhoff. Hendrik, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing fabulous, man. Okay, so you won a silver award here at the show, and the silver awards are very prestigious in terms of innovation. Tell, tell us about this uh, header behind us. Yeah, the header behind us is corn head, as obvious you can see. And our innovation is that we split the corn head, uh, corn head in two pieces. So we have two independent wings that can go up and down, and therefore we have a more controlled uh, contour following. So the left wing can go up and the right wing can go down, so you have yeah, more ground control. And additional to that, we have another uh, horizontal chopper underneath with a special knife, so we can chop the, the stubble into like two, uh, one inch pieces. So there's no stubble left in the field. And, and that's to benefit because there's no BT trade here, so it's trying to prevent European corn borer. Yes, correct. We don't have any GMO crops in Europe, therefore people have to either spray or use different machinery after the harvest to get rid of the corn borer. And we said, okay, we should, you need to do it during the harvest because you don't drive over any stubble and everything. So if you're done with the field corn mining, you're done with the field, you don't have to do any other jobs. So that's why we invented the, the special knife and the split. Okay, and is the flex point in the middle, uh, it, does it basically move both ways? So that it can either be uh, essentially a U or an upside down U, uh, to put it in the yeah, yeah, simple you, terms? Yeah, correct. You can smile or you can groom, yeah, but you can yeah. also go like di diagonal oh, okay. pretty much. So they don't go both up or both down. One can go up and the other one says level. So they're totally independent from each other. T tell us about the row unit uh, for it specifically. Yeah, the row unit is technically the normal rotor disc row unit. It's like a three roller unit, row, uh, row unit. You have two rollers pulling the stalks down. And then there's a, uh, one roller with 15 knives on them, like rotor disc knives. And they um, turn upwards. So the plant gets cut into like two inch, like five centimeter pieces. So therefore you have already the straw is very short. And then the special um, knife underneath, horizontal knife, has a sharp edge on one side and like a 90 degrees angle on the back side, so you actually smash the, the stubble and it kind of explodes on the top and therefore you get more moisture, more bacteria into the stubble to decomposite the stubble way faster. What, uh, what size uh, row, row numbers does it come in? Uh, for now we focus on the eight row, 75 centimeters, because that's the, the standard machine in Europe. Um, and it's still foldable, so you, can, you don't have to take the head off, you can fold it together and go on the road. Um, we're looking into 12 row probably in the future, but therefore we still have to talk to the, uh, the combine operators as well and manufacturers because of the horsepower you need. Of course, you have more, yeah, there's more stuff happening underneath. You need more horsepower, you need more kilowatts on the, on the header. You can make it as wide as you want, but you yeah. got you got to make sure that there's enough horsepower behind it to correct. make sure it works properly. Yeah, yeah, correct. To get a good result out of the whole process. Yeah. Okay. And can we find this unit in North America yet? Um, not yet. No, we like I said, North America is not a big deal because they mainly go with BT corn, so it's not a huge market for us. We, for now, we concentrate on the Central European market. Um, but if it's it could be a possibility with uh, if there was a growth of organic acres. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. So we do sell our products in North America anywhere. So probably if we get like farmers who actually want this product and contact us, there's always a chance to import it to Canada. We have like dealers everywhere, so yeah. there still would be a chance to get it out there. Hendrik, what's the cost on the? Do you have a price? Do you know what the price is on the on the unit? Yeah, on this unit, um, like with the flex, the split one, everything. It's list price 127,000 uh, euros. Okay. So that's list price. Hendrik, thanks a lot. No worries, thanks very much.